Weldon in Baltimore, Maryland writes, my question involves a subwoofer setup situation. Okay. When adding a subwoofer, I know that placement can be quite important. However, there are many factors that can limit where one can place a subwoofer. That, boy, that's true. The biggest issue for me is powering my REL Carbon Special. I could try to plug it into my PS Audio Power Plant 15 that has its own dedicated circuit, but I would need a power cord that could be five to six meters long. Yikes! Uh, the other option would be to have an electrician and another dedicated circuit for the sub and run a two meter power cord, but that would eliminate whatever benefit the Power Plant 15 might provide. I am a two channel only system and the Power Plant 15 seems to have plenty of headroom to run the subwoofer. Which of these options would you choose? Thanks again for all your time and best wishes to all at PS Audio. Happy 50th anniversary. Thank you. Um, were it me, I would just go for the two meter cable and get a plug. The power plants are great. Your P15 certainly has enough power to handle it. Would you be better off? Yes, always going into a power plant. But that said, I don't hear a huge difference, or I don't even hear much of a small difference when running a power plant into uh, a sub or, or a sub being powered by a power plant. Where I hear the huge, huge difference that a power plant AC regenerator makes is on source equipment, preamplifiers, and especially on power amplifiers. Oh my gosh. If, if, I, let's just take a source equipment, a DAC. One of the things I recommend to people on power plants is a combination of power plant and DAC all to itself. So I've got a number of people that have asked me, like, don't worry about it. Just tell me what the best setup is. And I will tell them, take a DirectStream Mark II, pair it up with its own P12 power plant as a little combo. I I've actually even thought about making a combo like that, because that is extraordinary. That is, that's as big as any mountaintop that we have ever done. And, and that is a really big deal. But power plants and subwoofers, not such a big deal. If you can, go for it. Nothing wrong with it. You're always going to get some benefit, but it's not huge. And in our listening room upstairs, where we have a rel sub that is in the very back of the room, and it's there to make up for the the bouncy wooden floor that where all the base gets sucked out. So when you're sitting there, you're just losing all this base. And we fill that in with a sub up there because, well, what are we going to do? Unless we move the sound room, we don't have a whole lot of choice. That plugs straight into the wall. So, and we have easy access to power plants. <laughs> so that would be my advice to you. Just go into the wall and you're going to be just fine. Okay? Thanks. Thank you.